Hi guys, good afternoon or good evening, good morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I'm Leanne Winston, Psychic Medium, and uh, I'm really pleased to be joining you again on a Wednesday night. I uh, have had an incredible week so far. I hope you guys have as well. I've been away with my family uh, doing some camping and only got back early today. So hi Steve, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Hi Bianca. I'll just go through and quickly say hello to some people as you're popping in as well. Hi, Terry. So for those that had a long weekend this last weekend, I hope you managed to do something that you really enjoyed as well. Um, for me, getting out in nature, getting my feet in the sand at the beach, being in the water um, or being close to the water or on top of the water fishing is a really good way for me to ground myself. And I spend that time letting go of the things that I may be holding on to um, that build up over time, whether it's my own energy, energy of others, my own frustrations or whatever, and I just let it all go out to the ocean um, as the waves roll out. And... Um, just recharge myself, recharge my bat battery, so to speak. I'm um, partway through about an eight, nine week um, crazy energy, I guess you could call it, as my calendar is quite hectic and we're sort of from one, one place to another. So there's a lot of traveling going on in that eight weeks and that few days off camping was part of that. So and that was my my downtime with that side of it. And Mother Earth put on a beautiful, spectacular show uh, for us over at uh, Wallaroo last night. We had a crazy storm coming off of the shore. So we and we were actually camping and uh, from the front of my camper, you we looked straight out onto the beach. So there was nothing between us and the beach. So we had no protection from the uh, storm coming in off of the ocean. And it was amazing. We were amazed by the, the lightning and stuff in the distance, but all of a sudden it was on top of us. And um, one of our friends that was camping with us, her tent actually blew over and uh, broke. So that was a bit of a drama, but we got there and, you know, we still enjoyed it. We had fun. So that was our time. Hey, Amanda. Hi, Naomi. Uh, Steve, hey, I think I might have already gone over these couple of messages. Hi, um, Ma uh, Maria. Sorry, honey, if I said your name wrong, I know I have. Oh, God, my head is really with it today. I tell you why. I um, rushed back and, un well, I unpacked the, the camper and the car. Half of it's still laying down here on the ground ready to go through the washing machine, but we'll get there. The joys. Hey, fellas. So, guys, um, before we get into it, hey, Theone, I hope you're well, honey. And you too, Sylvia. So I'm heading over your way soon, Sylvia, in November by memory. Um, so, guys, before we jump in, please hit the share button and uh, invite your friends and your family to join in as well. Uh, the more that join in, the merrier it is. And let me know that you've shared. And maybe when you hit um, type the word shared, Put where you're from as well, so the area that you're from, so whether you're, you know, here within Australia, overseas, no matter where, you know, I love to find out where you guys are all from as well with that. And uh, then if you'd like to add with that a question, a short question, a direct question that you would like some answers to, please feel free to. We will um, try and get to as many as possible tonight. I am a little bit of an airhead tonight. Um, still coming down off a relaxing time, which seems to make me more tired when I stop. It's it's crazy. My body just goes, uh, it's had enough with that. So I am feeling rather refreshed. Thank you, Amanda. I think a good night's sleep in my own bed uh, would be good. Last night laying in the camper with this storm above us, it it was, I must say wicked is probably the word to put to it. It was crazy, but it was, oh, you know, you laid there and you just waited for this next bang and it was like one, one um, bang of thunder would roll into the next and then the sky would light up. And I was lucky enough to get some really good, um, 
I'm not sure what it's called, little fast videos of the lightning and the thunder and the way the sky changed throughout the day. So it was really good. I learned some new tricks on my phone. So um, that was really good. And so Phoebe's asking a question already. Will my relationship with my boyfriend last? Honey, yes. I got yes with that um, before I finished reading the whole question with that side. Hey, Rangy. Hi guys, Marie, Marie, sorry honey, I know I've said that wrong as well. I can't get my tongue around words today. I don't know what it is. Um, Maybe it was, no, I better not say that. I was going to say not having enough alcohol while I was away. And it was funny because my daughter packed and stocked up on wine. I I don't mind a glass of wine every now and then. And um, I just wasn't even in the mood for that. I think I was so relaxed without it. I probably would have gone to sleep if I'd had too much or had too many glasses of wine. Mind you, a glass of wine does me in these days as well. Hey, um, okay. So, guys, if you can ask a direct question rather than a general one, that would be really good. So that way I can get to more of you as well. I'm just noticing the redness in my face from the windburn and the sunburn. I have tried to hide it with makeup. But um, <laughs> Terry says, will I go to hospital for my boil? No, I get the feeling there's something you can do before that happens uh, with that side of uh, Hey, Ashley, hope you're well, honey. So, guys, I do just want to touch before I do jump um, into it. I found some weeks I get some, I guess, nasty or negative in uh, inboxes in my to my Facebook after doing these because people feel that they've asked a question they should get their answer now please keep in mind for those people that are feeling that way and I know it's not everybody and a lot of people on my page are very understanding um, that my feed can get hundreds of comments you know there's been weeks that we've got close to a thousand comments in the hour I can't see everyone as they go through okay because my feed moves really quickly spirit will draw me to those that they want to put their questions in front of me okay because I don't choose I allow spirit to choose and I put my faith in my team or what I call my team above that I work with that um, help me make my connection to those that I'm reading for, to show me the messages for those that my intention is for those that need it today or uh, and to move forward. I know we all need answers to things in our lives, but it's not in my my control to what you know what is being answered with that I would love to answer every single question if I possibly could in the hour it does you know it does get a bit hectic sometimes and I you know I really do appreciate people's understanding but then when I get messages with people going I asked this so many times I've shared and you overlook mine and you seem to do the same people blah 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 whatever it is like I said, I just try to get to as many of you as possible. And the more direct we can keep the questions, the quicker I can get through to people and reach more people. But I would also appreciate if people could respect my time for me to do this. I'm like, you know, I'm taking away family time at the moment to do this, to do free mini readings. And that's my choice. I love to give back where I can. But some people just seem to think they deserve a free reading in these messages that I'm getting in the inbox. And it doesn't work that way. And I've had some people actually leave me negative um, reviews due to not getting their questions answered. Now, that's not what reviews are about. That is more about my service um, and, you know, me connecting with you and how you feel about it. I'm not bothered by reviews, believe me. Felicity, my manager, would give me a kick up the bum for saying that because that is her job to keep that side of things going with that side of it and help me build my reputation up, so to speak. I'm here to make those connections and connect with as many people as possible 
and um you know spirit will put those people in front of me hey kelly hope you're well so i just needed to um get that out the way have that sort of said because like i said you know i got message a couple of messages last week and i guess because i give my time i really don't appreciate having to take the time out to answer those because they do block up my inbox um with people still thinking that they should get a free reading outside of this hour but um you know, and it does make it hard for us to connect to those that are wanting to make bookings or um, are more legit with, not legit is not the right word, with my services being able to use it. So I just would like people just to keep that in mind. Um, please try not to inbox me your questions. You Listen, I... I offer one question ratings for $20. I've kept them ridiculously low. I know people that charge or other mediums that charge $60 and $80 um, for a question and you get a whole sentence out of them. You will usually get more from me out of that and it's only $20. So if you do, and there's usually, you know, it's important to with this side of work to, and I tell my students all the time, you've got to have an exchange of energy. So to me, for the time I put in and the effort um, and the, making the connection with Spirit to, to answer that one question for $20 is really cheap when you look at an overview over the role, over the bigger view sort of thing. So, guys, please keep in mind that I do just do this um, to give back a little bit. This is my choice, but I don't choose... I want to set my boundaries is probably the best way to go about not having to deal with it outside of like those nasty messages outside of this. Hey, Sandra. Now, honey, happy anniversary um, to for yourself and Phil, uh, Philip. I'm sure he'll be celebrating in heaven, honey, with you on the weekend as well with that side of it. Hey, Jody. Hope you're all well. Um, wasn't it amazing? Oh, the only saying isn't it amazing? I don't know that I would have wanted to be outside in that. It was, it was beautiful. A lot of the lightning did hit the ocean that we could see. Uh, so it was absolutely gorgeous. Hey, Natasha, I hope you're well, honey. Hi, Adair. I hope you've had a lovely trip too, hun. I know you've been away as well. Hi, Chantel. So when, uh, Anna, when do you see the building of our house starting, please? Okay, honey, I feel like I'm looking at December, the focus being on that around December for yourself with that. So I wish you all the best. See it going very smoothly, okay? See everything just falling into place. Focus on the positives rather than focus on the negative sort of side of stuff because you'll keep that negative energy coming in. So if you can concentrate on the positive energy and seeing that, you know, the keys being put in your house, it, so English would help, keys been put in your hand it will come sooner rather than later all right so how exciting for you and uh, naomi's just saying york peninsula i love it there it is gorgeous it's actually quite a good um drive home as well so i really enjoyed my kids came over um for a few days as well but unfortunately, they had to come home yesterday. Uh, so I got to stay with my friends and their children and just had some relaxing time. So it was nice with that. It was weird not having the kids there. But, you know, that's it. Hey, Kelly, hope you're well. Steve, I would like to ask you about Spirit Guides, Leanne. Do you have any tips on how to connect with your guides and do you feel any special guides who are close to me? Thank you. You're very welcome, Steve. Now, what a good question because I do get asked about guides a lot. For me, I think it's important for you to be able to connect and to discover your guides yourself. I was forced to do it through one of my mentors myself and it was a very uh, very empowering emotional moment for me as well. So I would suggest doing a meditation with the intentions to connect with your guides. When I'm teaching, I actually take my students into the heart space, the heart chakra, opening up the door to a beautiful garden, walking down the, the garden path, listening to nature, the water, the, uh, the, the water trickling, the birds, 
you know, all that side of stuff, to a garden bench where your guide would see it. Now, I always say in my meditations, ask questions. Ask what your guide's name is. Ask what their role is. Um, you know, have you met this guide before? And, you know, how many other guides do you have? Because they do very mind change at times. I call it the changing of the guards where I have three main guard, um, three main guides that are with me all the time then I have two of you three sometimes four that will come and go but those three will always stay and they all have a special role with that side of it one of my guides is actually related to me through my family history I have been able to track that down through my family tree on my father's side. And it was quite interesting the way she gave me the information and then told me to research it. So, um, sorry, my hair is driving me nuts. It is wind blown. I feel like I've still got sand on me, even though I've had shower after shower sort of thing with that side of it. But sorry, Steve. Um, but yeah, Sit and do a meditation. Just clear your mind. See yourself connect with them and trust the information that you get back. It could be through your thought process. It could be through a voice or whatever that you hear. So I want to say just trust that information and do that with you. I actually feel like you've got four guides around you, Steve. So I'm gonna, and I feel like they're all fem um, sorry, all strong male energies with that side of it. There is a female that comes and goes too is the reference I get. So I want to say sit and I get the reference to you also connect with your in uh, with the Indian as well. I do too. My one of my main ones is Aitiki and he is a very strong uh, North American Indian and uh, he always gives me the headpiece and I see him from the shoulders up so it's interesting so I want to say write that stuff down um, when you finish your meditation as well and just sort of next time you do it ask to connect with another guide so it is, it's really interesting doing it with that. Natasha's looking forward to seeing me in Bendigo. Honey, I am too. I will be in Bendigo for those that are interested on Sunday at the Expo in Bendigo. I'm not exactly sure of where the, um, ben, uh, the Expo is at the moment, but um, I'm sure if you Google it or you are in the Bendigo area, they would have been doing a fair bit of advertising by now. If you're in the Horsham area, I am there on Friday night doing a live show at the RSL. Now, there are tickets still available. You can either purchase online by going to my website, um, which I will put up there, is leannewinstonpsychicmedium.com. Um, and just go calendar and you will find the events in there. Click on that and it will take you to the booking system. Otherwise, you can ring us, um, maybe not now, through working hours because I've been away. Felicity has the work phone on that number, 0449 035 844. And you can have tickets held for you to pick up at the door on Friday night. Also, I'm pretty excited to say that if you're in the Horsham area or can get the Horsham radio station, I've been asked to come in on Friday early. I think it's 11.30. I'm on live for an hour um, for an interview and I guess I'll probably be connecting with people that may ring in and do mini readings. I'm not sure exactly what's what will happen there, but I do know I am on air for an hour and uh, will be at the station and doing it in person. So I'm really looking forward to to doing that. And it's been uh, it's an honour to be asked to do that as well with um okay, Amanda, before I read yours uh, your question, honey, I got yes with that. So will my mum be okay, please? I love the heart. Yes, honey, I do feel that your mum will be okay. So just put that that positive vibe out there. Um I will send your mum some healing. And um, you can sort of focus on that that positive sort of side of stuff as well. Okay. Uh, Steph, hi, honey. 
Hi, Leanne. Do you see anything for me in regards to love and career? Would love some guidance, please. Honey, I get the reference to you need to open your heart up and I do feel that relationship will come, will flow, love will be there. I also feel that you block yourself a little bit at times because it's the fear of being hurt. So whether that comes from a past experience and I want to say with work, it's about standing up and speaking out so to me I get the reference to when you put yourself um, forward you will find that energy will move and the opportunities will come with that there is change coming around you this year I get the reference to it's about going with the flow put yourself first rather than taking that step back and standing in the shadows so to speak when you put yourself out there in your private life and in your career I do feel that's all going to flow with that. So I wish you all the very best with that as well. Okay. Now, guys, just try and keep your questions um, more direct so I can get to more of you as well. Hey, Gina. Hi, Paula. Hope you're well, honey. Um, Alison, hi, Leanne. Our camping trip was full on, but I'm feeling recharged too. Excellent, honey. I'm pleased. Um, that's the thing. We go away to relax, but if we find more stuff to do with that. So we got some fishing done and a bit of four-wheel driving and feed up relaxing it's great my question is am i on the right path yes honey i do get that you are it may take a little bit just to feel that energy moving but please know that you are working towards the right path it's more about just allowing that energy to flow not trying to fight it in that sense okay uh, merrily has shared and she's in western australia beautiful honey thank you i do I really do appreciate people helping me share um, my messages and my videos uh, or whatever I'm offering out there as well because, you know what, if we can help each other and do things like this, and I feel that's an exchange of energy as I was talking about earlier in the sense that, you know, I'm, I'm doing the readings, you're helping me by that way. So beautiful. I really do appreciate it, as I said. Okay, Ashley, hi, Leanne. I just want to know if I'll find out what's going on with my health on Friday. Okay, yep. And we'll be uh we'll be getting a positive pregnancy test soon. Thank you. Uh okay, honey. That's interesting you said the positive pregnancy test because I felt like when you were asking about your health on Friday, I felt I was looking at your hormones. Okay, hun. So whether your hormone levels are a little bit out, I just get the reference to look at the hormones when it comes to your health with that side of it. I want to say Sit and let go of the past, honey. Um, look at what it is energy-wise that you're holding on to because I feel that energy sitting in your aura is what is affecting your body, okay? And that can also cause um, blocks when it comes to wanting to get pregnant if we're holding on to that en like an energy in a certain area. So I want to say take a moment. Look at your past, look at, like, do a bit of a reflection and look at it, what it is you need to let go of. Let that energy go, give gratitude for it, but let it go, honey. And when you do that, you'll feel lighter and your body will start responding in that way with that. I do feel pregnancy isn't too far away for you um, with that side of it. And okay, so I wish you all the very best. I know the frustration of not being able to fall pregnant when you want to. Thanks, and I really do appreciate you sharing with them. Um, okay, so Alicia has shared, and she is from Camden in New South Wales. Beautiful. We've got another one from New South Wales. And uh, Gina is in Naradera, New South Wales. Sorry, honey, I probably said that wrong. Uh, Bendigo, beautiful. Okay, Sue. Hi, Leanne. Whoops, helps if I click on the right spot. Hi, Leanne. Hope you're well. I'm currently researching all the things you told me pay week. Okay, beautiful. Excellent, honey. Um, it'll be interesting to see what you come up with. Okay. Theoni's invited and shared away in Adelaide. Thanks, hon. 
really do appreciate it. Theone um, is an incredible lady that gives so much to others um, and does a lot of fundraising and whatnot. So uh, if you're a, a lady in Adelaide in business, check out uh, Women in Business in Adelaide. Um, they have an incredible group that help support each other and whatnot and uh, have gathering, gatherings and stuff. So it's really interesting. Okay, uh, Bianca shared she's in Sydney. Excellent. Naomi's in Adelaide. Beautiful. Hey, Chantel from Perth. Excellent. Sorry, my... Uh, comments get quite a bit behind because I go quite quickly. So shared um, M, beautiful honey. Thanks, Jody. Really appreciate that, honey. Um, beautiful, Alicia, honey. You may need to put a at sign in front of Paula's name, um, and then her name should come up because if she's not already on my page. Uh, as a friend, she may it may not tag her in it without the at sign. So uh, shift and the number two together will give you that at sign that I'm talking about. Hey, Nancy, good morning, honey. I'm guessing you're on the other side of the world as it's evening here with, um, okay. And uh, hi, Liam, when do you see the building of a house study? Oh, honey, I think I might have answered yours. Um, I reckon I was seeing December around that. If you missed it, honey, you may need to just watch the replay with that side of it. Um, okay, guys, there's a lot of questions just with people wanting guidance, um, in general guidance. If you can ask questions, that would be really good so you can be more to the point. Okay, Kelly says, hello, is there anything good coming up in the next few months? Honey, I, uh, okay, I feel your frustration around that and I just feel like you need to take a deep breath. So to me, it's that feeling you're breathing rather shallow rather than taking that, that deep stomach breath with that side of it. I do feel there's the need to move the energy and that positive energy is there but it's just going to take, the English would help, take a little bit of time to come through with that side of it. I don't know if you're struggling having um, problems talking or communicating at the moment. With your energy, hun, I just feel like I'm getting stuck on my words with that side of it and I'm getting frustrated within myself. I actually feel quite hot with your energy oops your energy so i'm not too sure what's going on there whether um your hormones are out a little bit or not but i just get the the heat rise the hot flush with that side of it okay um i hear good news so i'm going to say looking at the family side of it and i feel like i'm looking here in the end of october with that side of it so see that positive change come through focus on those things that you want rather than the negative things because when you do that you will bring in that positive energy i quite often say to people focus on the positive energy it will manifest positive if you're going to focus on the negative you're going to keep bringing that negative heavy energy in so try to change your thought processes um with that so that goes for everybody hey Philomena hope you're welcome um so X Rose sorry honey if I've said your name wrong um hi will I find love yes open your heart up okay i just feel you're very closed down around that side of it as well with that bianca i say yes without even reading uh, your comments leanne do you see my finances getting any better saying so, yes i feel like i've got a small amount of money coming your way a little bit later in the year honey i don't feel like it's massive but it is just a bit of a shift with that side of it um Okay, Robin, hi, Leanne. I would love some guidance on my logo. Okay, so business logo. It's got to be swells, honey. I see swells in it. Um, okay, I feel like I've got a light purple or a grape colour with that side of it. So if I, I want to say just sit and doodle. Do the swells, okay? 
Um, okay, Nancy, will my divorce be over soon before holidays? Yes, I hear yes. I get the feeling it's just there's one little thing standing in the way at the moment and that will move quite quickly when that energy shifts with that side of it. So see yourself signing those end documents and put focusing on that because when you do that, hun, you're manifesting that stuff. It's the same for us all. Um, I don't know, Oh, I want to say, honey, you carry... Um, Nancy, you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, so to speak. So to me, it's a feeling you're carrying a lot of that energy around your neck, your shoulder area with that. Guys, also, okay, so I was a bit sneaky today. In the comments, you will find I have put a guest link. If you can find it, you... it's just a link. I haven't written anything else there. Spirit's drawing me to do it. And I don't know why at the last minute Spirit um, sort of encouraged me to do it. Well, hey, they do what they like. Um, let's be honest <laughs> with that side of it. But I get um, Spirit's just reminding me. I put that link there. If you can find it in today's things, um, comments or video on my Facebook page, Leanne Winston Psychic Medium, where this is broadcasting live to at the moment, you have a Google Chrome um, web thingy, whatever you want to call it. I'm not technical today. And you have a camera and a mic or headphones. Feel free to click on that and um, I will bring you up live and you can ask me your question yourself with that. So we might do a couple people tonight with that. So guys, while, we, while you're looking for that, don't forget to hit the share button. And invite your friends and family, tag people in it as well uh, with that side of it. And Ken, I appreciate your help with that. Teresa says, hi, Leanne, do you see me moving or staying where we are? Honey, I want to say staying where you are for now, but I do feel the move will come a little bit further down the track. So I feel like I'm looking maybe March, April next year with the move in that side of it. So I don't know if you need to sign some papers very shortly, but I get look at the papers and look at the fine work as well around you. So keep that in mind with the paperwork that will come up a little bit down the track for you. And, all right. Um, okay. Now, uh, Vanessa, yes, I get yes with that. Hey, Leanna. Leanna. Sorry, darling, if I said that wrong. Um M, do you have a message from my grandmother? I want to acknowledge, honey, the birthday or the celebration either literally just been around you or about to be because I feel like she's acknowledging the happy birthday with that side of it as well. I do get the reference to butterflies around you as well. So whether you're seeing butterflies or they're getting your attention, I feel that she's putting the signs in front of you. So look at those things that keep appearing. Um, I want to say appearing at the strangest times because she just makes me feel she is very much around you with that side of it. Now, I don't know if somebody has got a tattoo in honour of somebody else for either yourself or around you, but I feel like I need to acknowledge the tattoo in memory of as well with that. So I hope that makes sense, honey, to you. Okay. Um Paula, will I make changes? In, yes, in my pro sorry, um, spirit jumps in way too quick. In my professional life, yes, honey, I do feel that will happen, but I feel like I'm looking later um, on with that side of it. So, to me, I want to say later this year, early next year, with that. Okay. I think I'm just so used to having sand from the beach and the wind in my in my eyes the last couple of days. I keep feeling like I've still got it there. Um, and I have I've answered your question. Okay, Natasha, health for my 21-year-old, please. Sorry, hon. I don't know if your um, your child's 
I want to say he. I don't know if he's not drinking enough lately or the fluids or the dehydration. I just feel reading that I felt like I was uh, quite thirsty, dehydrated with that side of it. Okay, I do feel things will settle with that. Um, there's a lot of frustrating energy around that. So I don't know if it's the your frustration or their frustration or not having the answers with that side of it. I do feel the roller coaster is very much around that side with health. Um, but I don't feel like I'm only looking at one child. I feel like I'm looking at two with that that have in the past had that roller coaster. So whether one has settled and one's more in heightened, so to speak. I just get the reference to the health will settle with that side. So I want to say um, meditation, even breathing in the white positive light and breathing out the negative energy and seeing the body heal from the inside out in that sense. All right, maybe later we can have another conversation about that if that's something that um, you're 21-year-old is interested in. I still want to say he. So I, I hope um, that makes sense to you, honey, as well with that. Hey, Prue, hope you're well, huh? Long time no see. Um, okay, Vanessa, honey, uh, if you could ask a Vanessa Townsend a more direct question, honey, I'm happy to answer questions. But uh, the, the more direct that your um, questions are, the you know, the more I can get to with that side of it. Robin sending hugs. You're very welcome, honey. I hope that helps you with your designing. Send me a picture when you get it worked out. Um, I'd love to see what your design looks like. Um, set the, the, the time. S Steve says people need to accept that a particular time there may not be a message from that. That is so true, Steve. And, uh, Steve, it's all energy. What we give out, we get back tenfold. And that's the thing. And I guess that's what I find frustrating. Uh, Steve's just for those that have just joined in and didn't hear me speak about this earlier. Um, Steve's just referring to people sending me inboxes and getting a little bit narky at the fact that they didn't get their questions asked today. And that's the feeling I get from people that are being pushy in my inboxes is that they feel that they are owed or they are the victim of their doing sort of thing and that they expect people to give to them. And it's funny reading people's questions like that and looking at their messages. You do pick up on their energy and what it's like and it's, I don't know, just part of me goes, oh, bugger it, <laughs> sort of thing with that side of it. And I guess I probably dig my heels in a little bit when it's like that at times as well because, um, you know, spirit will tell me when to answer and when not to. And like I said before, they will show me the questions to answer with that side of it. Um, and Kay, Cara, Cara, sorry, honey, will my husband find that new job he's searching for? Yeah. I... Um, he needs to speak up. Sorry, hon. I don't know what the communication is around him, but Spirit is just showing me um, that he needs to speak up. He needs to communicate more sort of thing because I get the blocked throat chakra around him with that. Hey, Kayla, I can see you in the uh, lobby. I'll bring you up in a second, honey. Um, and so I just get that he needs to... Put himself out there. He needs to speak up. He needs to, you know, stand in that strength and that that job will come with that side of it. Oh, no, she dropped out. Kayla, hun, just um, re-click the link and follow it through. You were sitting in my lobby if you're listening in and I will bring you up into the broadcast um, very shortly. And so if you'd like to have another go, I think you might have hit end there, hun. Okay, so Cara, I wish him all the very best with that. So just focus on the positive side of it as well. I can just see Cara's coming in, uh, Kayla is coming in. Um, so when she pops up, I will bring her in as well. Beautiful. Uh, honey, you might need to, <laughs> Kayla, you might need to turn your camera around, Tan. Excuse me. Oh, no, she's dropped out again. Oh, goodness, I'm not too sure what she's doing. 
Okay. Hey, Deb. I hope you're well, hun. Um, excellent. Okay. So I'm just watching for her to come back up in again. Deb just wants to know, will I find love soon? Yes, honey, I do feel you will. Okay. Um, Sandra, hey, sweetheart. Hi, Leanne. Will my bowel problems get sorted, please? Oh, I love the little heart there, honey. Yes, I do. I just get the look at the energy you're holding on to, hun, and I also get the reference to the need to put yourself first because you're worried about everybody else, you're caring for others, um, and you're forgetting to honour yourself in that way. So when you can give back a little to yourself, I do feel that will settle down with that side of it, and um, I hope all is settling down after the other operation with the young gentleman the other week with you, honey. Okay, send you big hugs, hun, and healing energy. Um, Philomena says, should I hang in there with my male friend? Oh, I got no, hun. Sorry, honey, I do feel that was a no. I just feel that things aren't changing. So I want to say you're giving the opportunity for change, but change isn't there. Okay. So, uh, sorry, honey, I do feel no was very strong around that. But it's it's your call. It's, um, I always like to make sure that people realise that. Okay, Sherry, uh, will my makeup career take off? Yes, honey, stop limiting yourself. And I feel that you doubt yourself at times, honey. I get the reference to you're good at what you do but it's about striving and knowing how to market yourself, all right? So find a way, believe in what you're doing, okay, because I do feel the passion is there with that. Believe in what you're doing, put yourself out there and allow that to follow, okay? So back yourself, all right? Sometimes we can block ourselves and I get the feeling that's what you're doing, hun, with that side of it. Kayla's just popping back up. As soon as I can see her, <coughs> excuse me, oh, she's dropped out again. Oh, I don't know what's going on in my throat. And gee, that's quite interesting because I think that's happened to me a couple of times when Kayla's come in. So we'll see what comes through as she jumps in. Ah, yes. Here we are. Let's see if we can hang it. Oh, no. Kayla, and I'm not sure what's happening, but as soon as I click to bring you into the lobby, uh, out of the lobby into the broadcast, you seem to drop out. So I'm not too sure why that is, but I could see your face that time, hun. Um, oh, thank you, Steve. Um, I really do appreciate that. I hate speaking up like that, but I guess over time I've learned that I've got to set my boundaries and I can only spread myself so far. And, you know, I like... I guess I like to try and put my energy where is appreciated in that sense, okay? So I appreciate your comment. Thank you. It does mean a lot. And Vanessa, hi, Leanne from Victoria. Hey, honey, I'm in Victoria this weekend. Looking forward to it. Y yes, will my relationship work out? Yes, hun, I do get yes with that. Okay, Kayla, we're back. Let's try again. Beautiful. Yay! Hey, hun, how are you going? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. We had a little bit of issues there. I kept seeing you drop in and out. Yeah, my phone was acting weird. I had to close the app out and come back on. Ah, uh, okay. So where are you from, hun? Um, Pennsylvania. Oh, beautiful. I'm pleased you could join us and drop in. Did you have a question you'd like to, me to answer? Um, could you tell me anything about my current relationship? Okay, would I be right in saying you need to speak up in the relationship because I get the blocked throat chakra. Every time you were dropping in and out, I kept getting the tickle to the throat, which is usually around communication where the throat chakra sits. So I just get the reference to at the moment there's the need to stand your ground, speak out. I feel like you're holding back in that sense and I just get the reference to things that I want to say snowballing, so to speak, um, and 
growing in that way with that. I do feel when you speak up that you're going to find that you get that respect that you deserve with that side of it. Would I be right in saying sort of at times you feel like you've got one foot in the door and one foot out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do get the reference to it's worth holding in there. But I get the reference to things need to change, that communication needs to open up with that. So would I be right in saying in the past you've tried to speak up but haven't felt heard? Yeah. <laughs> okay, because I just get you need to persist in that side of it. Um, okay. Would I be right in saying that he, in the relationship, his parents weren't necessarily big communicators? Yeah. Okay, because I just feel like he's doing what he knows. So he's acting to the conditioning he's had in his upbringing in that sense. So I do get the reference to it's important to sort of look at why he's acting the way he is, but it's what he knows. So where you're more open and where you're more used to having that communication, being able right. to speak freely, so to speak. So I do feel that things will change for a positive way in that but it's about opening the communication up and showing him how to communicate in okay. that sense. All right. But I do feel oh. that it will bring change. Thank you very okay. much. You are very welcome and thank you for persisting and coming thank through. You. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll enjoy the rest of the, sh um, the show, hun, and thanks for joining in. Goodbye. Bye. Excellent. I love it when we get to the other side of the world, so to speak, um, and reach more people. So it's good. Hey, Olivia. Hope you're well, honey. Um, now, okay, Nigerian. Sorry, honey, if I said your name wrong. Any messages from my mum for my brother? Oh, okay, honey, I feel like your brother's going through a hard time at the moment because I just felt, what reading your comment, I felt like my heart sunk with that side of it. So I just get the reference to he's very sensitive. He's he's an old soul, as in your brother. Mum just says he needs to be patient, and I just get the reference to him. he needs to stay true to himself. So whether others are impacting him or his thoughts at the moment, I just get the reference to it's important for him to take a deep breath and stay true to himself. I do feel that your mum is very proud of him, though, with that because she's got her hand on her heart which is my sign for love and pride but I do feel this energy will start to move and change for him and there will be growth when that happens with that so I hope that helps him but please he knows his mu your mum is around him because he feels her energy he just needs to get out of his own head and realize that is mum it's not his him missing mum in that sense, okay? I do feel the energy is quite frustrating around him at the moment, but please know with changing the breath and focusing on that, raising his vibrations, that energy will change, all right? He's strong. Okay, so thank you for your question, honey. Um, Deb, have met a man as friends will it become more yeah and I think it will I just get it will take time though so to me it's a feeling it will take a little bit of time to move in that sense all right uh, oh, Theoni says I love reviews I have read uh, I love reading how business owners tackle negative reviews rather than the negative reviews itself trolls will be trolls so true hun um, and you know what I try not to give them any energy and I I don't know if we can remove them from our page because I don't take time to look at that but um, I believe people get drawn to certain people and their businesses for a reason. So, um, so I just think so be it yeah. with that side. So, uh, oh, Philomena, honey, I answered your question earlier. Wow, I'm heaps way behind with this. Uh, Jennifer is from Darwin. Will the feed in my family get a uh, feud in my family get resolved? Yeah, honey, I've got the okay. 
I get your frustration around that. I'm picking up on that. But I also get the reference to you got two very strong energies there as well. But I feel like one is being backed by a as another person that is keeping that feud going. So to me, somebody that's not so direct, so whether it's an in-law with that side of it, I just get the other person that is fueling that side in that sense. Um, yes, but I, I really wonder what they're fighting about. So I wouldn't be surprised if part of that feud, the bigger picture has been lost and they are just more stuck in the energy with that side of it. I wish you all the very best with it as well. Um, that's fair. I got a female energy that just came in and said, bygones need to be bygones. Um, so looking at that side of it. Um, okay. All right. Well, my scroll is going really quickly. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Um, Tom Ha, I would say... Let's go with that part. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to try and read the first part. Is everything going to be okay with my kids and I? Yes, I just feel like it's going to take a little bit of time though, hun. So I do feel that that will come in as well. Okay, guys, I'm noticing some of the questions have been asked over and over. I understand um, that the feed does like get a little bit behind with that so just keep that into count as well tina i am very well thank you and i hope you're well too it's lovely of you to ask um samantha how many more okay one babies will we have i feel like i've got one more for you honey with that side of it um so i wish you all the very best with that uh tail Sorry, honey, if I said your name wrong. Am I on the right track with my house plans? Thank you for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Yes, honey, I do feel that you're on the right track. I feel like it's taken a little bit to get there with that side of it. And then you're very welcome, hum. But, Taylor, I just want to say, hang in there. Uh, things will move um, very quickly with that. Okay, Chantel. Will I have any more babies and what gender? Yes, and I get a boy, honey, with that um, question. Oh, lots of baby questions. Hey, Leanne, do you see any, me and my partner having a baby anytime soon? I want to say pregnancy early next year, honey, with that side of it. So I'm focusing more about on what's going on around next year with you. Hey, Jesse, hope you're well, hun. Um Okay, Philomena, I've done yours. Uh, okay, I think I've done that question as well. Okay, Tracy, I get a very um, strong yes with that. And I do feel that you've got a very strong male energy around you as well. So whether it's a, a grandfather figure or a strong like grandfather figure, I just get the taller, the stronger man with that side of it can see ebony is coming online so i will uh, bring her up once she comes in to the lobby properly with that side so excellent uh ebony if you can hear me hun you may need to turn your camera on i'll just bring you up anyway so you can hear me hey ebony how you going honey you may need to turn your computer and your sound on hun we can't hear you or see you. I might just drop you back to the lobby and once you get that sorted, I will bring you back up and maybe just taking a moment to load. Um, okay. Oh, Kim, my husband passed 10 years ago. There is a guy I'm reconnecting with very strongly, but I have just found out he has the exact same birthday as my past hubby. What does that mean? Okay, hun. I get your husband wants you to be happy. So I don't necessarily think there is a real meaning to it, but I wouldn't be surprised if your husband that is past 
has put him in front of you with that side of it. So I want to say trust what you feel, hun, because if it is has a meaning to you, it will resonate with you, but I'm not picking up on it being anything more than your husband is putting him in front of you with that. And I do feel that your husband is happy that you are making a connection with somebody else because he doesn't want you to be on your own with that side of it, okay? You feel your husband around you at times, so I do feel he finds ways to let you know that this is the right way to go down that path with that. Atina, hey honey, uh, are you coming to the Gold Coast soon? I am, I am there, I think it's from, now don't hold me to the exact dates, I think I arrive on the Wednesday, that may be the 17th of October and I, I leave and come back the following Tuesday. So pretty much there for a week. I am opening up a day of readings if anybody is interested. Um, I won't be far from, like I'm pretty much in surface, just back from the water a little bit in surface paradise. But you can certainly inbox me and either myself or Felicity will get back to you with details. Um, I might open up the Thursday, I reckon, for readings with that side of it. So I will. I am doing a workshop um, there, so I will only have time really on one day to do readings, whether it's the Thursday or the Monday with that side. So, honey, if you're interested or anybody's interested, while I'm in Queensland in October, for a private reading, please uh, inbox us. Hey, Lorraine, old uh, neighbour from a few years ago. Hope you and the family are well, hun. Uh, with that, I bet they, your kids have grown up so much. I know mine have. It's crazy, especially when you go away with them and they can drive themselves home. <laughs> I still can't get used to that. Um, okay, Tara is from Western Australia and sends hugs to Flick. Oh, that's beautiful, hun. I'm, I'm not sure if Flick's watching, but I'm sure she will read back through comments and I will pass that on as well with that. Okay, for some of you that if you've messaged me over the last few days while I've been away, you may have got a reply from Felicity because she was keeping an eye on my messages and the phone as well. Nessie, hi Leanne, does, any, um, does my grandmother have any messages for me, love and light? Okay, honey, oh, straight away I'm taken to the heart, the chest area. So whether she has passed from something around that, but I also feel that she has her hand on her chest, which is my sign for love and pride for yourself as well. Now, I'm not sure what the one candle means to you, but I get the reference to holding the one candle with that side of it. Who's turning one around you? Because I actually feel like I want to put the one candle in a birthday cake for you, around you as well with that side of it. I get a very sweet, dear energy with her, very loving, very soft sort of energy with her. And I do feel that she connects through your dreams as well at times. So I want to say, look at the dreams. You may not always remember them, hun, but I get you're getting the messages on that soul level with that. She also wants to acknowledge the changes that you've been going through. And I get the pride that comes through with that. So I do feel it's about standing in your own strengths and you will find that things will move in the right direction. So Nancy, I, I wish you all the very best with that as well. Uh, sorry, is it Nancy? Nancy, sorry, hun. Uh, Spirit's just correcting me there around that. All right, guys, I can't believe we're nearly out of time again. Um, Alison's just saying thank you. You are very welcome, honey. Um, okay. What Chelsea says, what does study look like for me in the near future? Lots of books, hun. I get that you like to put pressure on yourself and I get the reference to there is the need to push with that side of it. So I actually feel like I want to look at two courses with you, honey. So looking at the um, taking on one course, 
and the second course will um, help promote the first type of thing, if that makes sense with you. All right, guys. Well, I might leave it there. I'll just touch on what I do have coming up. As I said um, at the beginning of the show, for those that missed it, I am doing a live uh, show this Friday night at Horsham um, in Victoria at the RSL Club. I will be live on the um, radio station in Horsham. I'm pretty sure it's 11.30 a.m. at your time for an hour by memory and doing an interview and possibly some readings um, on the radio as well. And then we've got the doors open at 7.30 at the RSL. Tickets are available at the door if you haven't purchased online or you can just inbox us or send us a message um, to other phone us uh, maybe through business hours or inbox us um, just to saying how many tickets you would like and a name and we can certainly hold them at the door for you as well. If you want to buy online, we have tickets available by going to leannewinstonpsychicmedium.com. Into my calendar, you will find each and every event there where you can purchase uh, tickets as well. If you're in the Bendigo area, I am in Bendigo on Sunday doing um, private readings at the expo, the Psychic Expo that is being held there for the day. Now, I think off the top of my head, it's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and then after that, I will be heading back home. And then I have a week home just seeing clients here, then off to Queensland to the Gold Coast um, for pretty much a week. And a few of those days we'll be doing some workshops, but uh, I will open up a day of reading there. So if you're interested in having a private reading, please inbox us or phone us as I put up the number before on details on that um then in october i'm pretty sure it's the 25th of october we are heading to Waiala to do a show now that venue has now changed as the venue has uh pre-booked well double booked themselves so we are organizing another venue as well so if you've seen advertising around town please know there could be change with the venue until that's sorted but um, I think it's just going to be easier to find a second venue rather than um, push the point that we made our booking a long time ago with that one and um, we will keep people updated on that so Wyala is the 25th of October that's a Thursday night. Then we're off to Port Lincoln to do another live show on the 26th. I am doing private readings in Port Lincoln on the Saturday, the day, the day after the um, live show. And then we're off to Port Perry on the Sunday, which must be about the 27th, I think, or 28th of October. And we're doing a um, live show. I'm doing a live show there that is also for every ticket sold, $5 of the tickets is going to the McGrath Foundation, so the Cancer Foundation, um, to help them do what they do best in helping and supporting families that are affected by cancer. So if you'd like to book a ticket or tickets to any of my shows, please go to leannewinstonpsychicmedium.com, look up my calendar, find the event and click on that. And um, like I said, if you come along to Port Perry, that is about raising um, funds for the McGrath Foundation um, there's a beautiful team of people there in Port Period that are having a month of raising funds there with that side of it. So as I said, $5 from every ticket sold will go to the McGrath Foundation helping them and the um, beautiful ladies of Port Lincoln that are raising funds there. I think we're, they're running a raffle as well. So you could possibly win a reading with me through buying tickets in that raffle at the same time november i think about november later <laughs> um if you, you're interested in november i off the top of my head i can't remember what i've got booked in i know sorry i do know 
we are in Renmark, I think it's the 10th and 11th of November at the Expo there. Um, and the following week, I'm off to Bordertown and Mount Gambier as well. Um, Bordertown is private readings that I think out of the two days, I may have one place left with that. It's one or two readings available um, before that's totally full. And then the Miracles Psychic Fair is over the weekend there as well all right guys i have gone over time so i may get cut off thank you for kayla for joining me live and um, keep your eye out when i do post the events look for the guest link um if you'd like to have the opportunity to join me live to ask your question I like it if you're in the Horsham area this weekend, come along to the show and uh, don't forget to listen in to the local radio station at, I'm pretty sure it's 11.30 to 12.30 that I'm on. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, your sharing and your understanding about uh, inboxing messages and all the support and love that you guys share um, I am really honoured truly by all that so guys I'm going to head to bed I'm going to leave the washing from camping until tomorrow I'm sure nobody will fall over it and uh, get them get ready to pack to go to Horsham all right guys take care enjoy the rest of the week and make sure you take some time for you and just breathe ground yourself all right, sending love and healing to all those that are wanting it and are open to it. All right, take care. Bye.